What's good, y'all? Hope you guys are doing well. We're back at it. Um, healthier than last time, not coughing. So um, thank you for the well wishes. We are now better. Thankfully, today I'll be doing a first impressions of the brand new Carve Overlander. This has the Carve Christopher Bradley handle. So this is not the Overlander handle, but this is indeed the Overlander head. So um, shout out to my boy Seth, sorry, Seth, for um, selling me this head. But yeah, as you can see, it is a different design. Um, I've actually used this razor twice and I am very, very pleased. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get, make it easy for you guys to see it here. So yeah, as you can see, it's got bigger lather channels. It says made in Canada and I believe it says Carve Shaving Co. It's really hard to see on camera, but I'll hold it for a minute or so. But yeah, that's that's what it looks like. This is the top cap. It got male ends on the top cap. Uh, really nice razor. I believe it weighs 111 grams um, with the Overlander handle. I haven't weighed this one yet. But for the blade of choice, we're going with the Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. Um, yeah, nice blade. Here we go. So we are loaded in the Overlander. Um, really, pref I really like the look of the Christopher Bradley handle, so I'm glad I was able to get the head separately, order the handle direct, and here we go. As you can see, it doesn't have a crazy amount of exposure, but uh, it is positive. It's got a small gap. Kind of reminds me of the Paradigm Diamondback in that aspect. But yeah, really nice razor. We'll talk more about it as I get lathered up. As you can see, I got quite a bit of growth. It's only about two days. Um, and I'll talk about why I waited two days for this shave in a minute. But yeah, for the brush of choice, we're either going with my Vald Shaving G2 in the Nimbus shape. And this is the Vintage Red colorway. So I'm just filling up the sink. Soap of choice is Lothar Grooming. This is Lothar Black. We've seen this on the channel before. And um, yeah, the reason I fill up the water this time is I'm just gonna dunk the brush at this point into the water and see what happens. Yeah, but like I said, I got two days of growth. First shave was pretty great. Um, I wasn't used to the heavier weight of the brass. Um, by the second shave, I had it dialed in. First shave, I got like one or two tiny nicks. But um, first, few sh first two shaves went fantastic with this razor. Really, really pleased with it. getting lathered up here but yeah um it's marketed as being a because it can be used against the green immediately on the first pass which definitely caught my eye and um i'm here to tell you that it's it's legit i tried it on the second shave i only had a day's growth at the time but i was able to go against the green on the first pass and you're probably asking why the hell would you want to do that um, if the razor is capable, that is, because uh, I, I can't do that with every razor for sure. Uh, why would you want to do that? Um, less passes can result in less irritation. It's pretty much that simple. There's the, the blade is crossing over your face less amount of times, but you're still removing, um, you know, a greater amount of hair. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Assuming you can, I don't really recommend it with uh, most razors. Nor would I try it. I've tried it with the blood and it works fine because blade clamping is that good. And it seems like this is not false advertising at all by Chris from Carve and that you can go against the grain on the first pass, whether it is intentional or by accident. So, so far I'm really impressed and I'm actually in love with the razor. Um, but yeah, today is the true test as filming this video 
we will be doing it on two days of growth. And one of the reasons why I skipped shaving yesterday is because my hair just took forever to grow back. Um, like right now, my, my hair feels like it's at the sandpaper level, which normally feels like, it normally gets that in like a day. Um, it's definitely an efficient razor, I have to say, for the amount of blade feel that it has too. It's, uh, it's on the mild side, but um, I'll talk more about it as we get in. Just trying to really dial in the soap here. I'm just gonna paint in water. Man. Just got gloops of freaking lather over here. Man, I love the Nimbus because it just, I'm like lathering super sloppy and there's just like, that ridge is crazy. There's no lather on my hand at all. I'm just painting it a little bit more water. All right, it seems pretty hydrated. Nice scent on this. Based on Ward and Noir by Tom Fort. Cool. Let's clean up. Yeah, so actually I have no idea if this will work, if this will be a horrible shave or a great shave, but I thought it would be kind of fun to do a first impressions, um, pushing the razor to its limits on two days of growth. Um, yeah, this just came out like about two or three weeks ago, so let's give it a go. I'm gonna go pretty much against the grain here. You can hear it cutting for sure. <laughs> it works. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, definitely picked up the hair. Soap seems to be dialed in. Lather channels are not an issue, but I don't have a problem with most razors having small or big lather channels. Um, if the soap is properly hydrated most of the time, It'll rinse off easily. So in the direction I'm shaving it right now is more or less against the green. Um, my hair grows in different directions. Wow, it's a ton of hair in this thing. So it's not gonna be 100%. Yeah, so I, I'm not used to the weight, but I'm getting closer each shave for sure. The, the blade, the blade just feels super solid in the razor. There's absolutely zero chatter, and I think that's why I like it so much. Yeah, it's just nuts. I mean, look at this, guys. <laughs> it's a that's that's really close to BBS, man. <laughs> Like, uh, I'll do like a cleanup pass, but damn, guys. Um, I'm really impressed with this razor. It feels like it's, this might top the, the blood BR1 for me. Uh, blade feel wise, this feels like the blood 0.86, or like, it feels like a carved B plate. But uh, in terms of efficiency, it, uh, it's got like D plate or E plate level. Efficiency is just nuts. Uh, I'm afraid to do my mustache. Mm. Let's try it. It's definitely not as smooth doing that on two days of growth, but it's not super tuggy either. It's just not smooth. great first pass. Wow. Uh, let me rinse off and feel around. Man, that's nuts. I missed the spot here a little bit, but um, holy shit, man. <laughs> I don't know how Chris did it, but he freaking did it, man. Like, 
I'm not being a fanboy here. I'm not really that crazy about the Christopher Bradley, to be honest with you guys. I bought it. I've used it in titanium, steel, stainless steel, um, aluminum, and the angle is just very weird for me versus other razors. And I feel like it's not as efficient relative to the blade feel as, as some other razors like the Wolfman WR2 or the Diamondback, etc., etc. But this razor is like a whole, feel around here. Yeah, this razor is like a whole different beast. It's, it's nothing like the Christopher Bradley, in my opinion. It's just better in every way. The angle is like 45 degrees, very easy to find. It's more efficient than most of the plates. I've tried plates A through E. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's probably as efficient as like the E. No, I've tried F as well. It's probably as efficient as D or E. It's just really, um, I'm just blown away. So this might be the honeymoon phase, maybe. But uh, all I could say is I'm really impressed with this razor. Yeah, like I said, very little bleed feel. You just gotta be cognizant of the added extra weight if you're used to like the Zamok or the titanium or aluminum razors, the lighter razors. But otherwise, it's just fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not really a fan of brass. This is actually my first brass razor. And uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a forced patina because I I'm I'm can't be bothered to constantly flits it like once a month. I think that'll look pretty cool. Yeah, so this is essentially my cleanup pass here, making sure I get everything. Because I did take down a lot of growth hitter on that first pass, but It's not exactly BBS just yet. Yeah, no issues. Rinsing, just like most of my razors though. Hmm. I'm just going different directions because it's like, it's BBS basically. There it is. Man, this razor just shaves like a dream, man. I really, I try not to hype things, really. Like, I mean, you guys see me on here, like, uh, if you watch my WR1 video, I wasn't like blown away. I wasn't really that crazy about it. The carbons, I, I really tried to like, um, and they're good razors. They're just, they're not for me. Um, but this razor, this razor is like made for me. It feels like a Diamondback, like a Paradigm Diamondback on steroids. It's got better efficiency. It's much smoother because of that blade clamping. It's just fantastic razor, guys. Um, so yeah, maybe this honeymoon phase will die out. I highly doubt it. But um, let me just sweat my face. Use some residual here. This um, experiment was a success, guys. I did a two-pass shave. And we're BBS. It's nuts. Just using some residual slickness here. Yeah, so I did like a, a, man, two days of growth. First pass against the green, second pass, BBS. And I'm literally BBS. It doesn't feel scrapey to me. Um, I mean, you could feel that there's positive exposure, but it's nothing crazy. It's, it feels like the Henson on the medium gap, really. Uh, not even, it doesn't even feel as like pokey as like the Henson aggressive, which I've tried in titanium. Uh, that reminds me a little bit of that. It's just, it feels really mild, but really efficient. And to me, that's what I look for in a razor. And 
I mean, I, I think it's just outright crazy that I was able to go against the grain on the first pass. Um, two days growth. I'm just blown away at this point. Um, super close shave. So yeah, highly recommend this razor. This is not a review. This is just the first impressions. But all I could say is I'm super impressed. I think Chris got it right. And this is coming from someone who's not really crazy about the Christopher Bradley. So I'm um, not like being a fanboy of the brand. Like, um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really crazy about the Christopher Bradley at all. It's just, it's a great razor. Many people love it, but the angle is a little bit weird. It's not as efficient. To me, this is just better in every metric. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, a round of applause for Chris for getting it right. It's fantastic. I'll, I will be buying this in stainless. <clears throat> when it's out, maybe even in aluminum, but uh, I'm a believer, so, but without me talking all day, we'll finish up with some Parasso Green. I don't have the matching splash, and um, I tend to use this quite often when I don't have the matching splash. Just really enjoying this. It's got a nice menthol, eucalyptus vibe, a little bit of alcohol. It's just really soothing. Yeah, you get like a tiny bit of burn, but it's like... Gone in not even two or three seconds. <sighs> yeah, great, uh, great shave. If you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, leave them in uh, comments down below. I think I might do a comparison between this and the Blood 99 because I'm curious to see what comes out on top. Fantastic razors. Overview, we use the Vault Shaving, Nimbus J2, Lothar Black, and the star of the show, uh, the Carve Orlander, uh, a winner in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that sums it up for my first impression shaves. Um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys have a great one. Peace.